Good morning. It is the sixth day of a week on Free From. And yeah, I've woken up really hungry this morning, as is no surprise. I seem to do that every morning. I should just show the same morning every day and then just change the number slightly. Oh wait, that's kind of what I do. I'm gonna get some breakfast. What are you doing? Hmm? Meow, meow. Ah, I stood on you, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all. I'm sorry. Nothing fancy for breakfast this morning. Just some free from milk, wheat, and gluten. Honey hoops. And look at that box. We've got a bee performing aerobics, acrobatics for some reason. I mean, it makes sense to me. We found out what his name was, didn't we? Barney. Barney the bee with his gluten-free hoops. I'm trying to make a rhyme out of that. Can't think of one. Where are the ingredients? Let me find them. La 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 la. Maize, flour, sugar, honey, glucose syrup. Blimey, if only 1% of this is actually honey, how much of it is maize flour? Like 98%? Oh well. Gonna have it with good old cocoa, which I don't mind at all on my cereal. So let's, let's get it. They look incredibly yellow. Interesting. What secrets are you hiding, Barney? Wow, they do look equally as yellow in person. I'm not sure if the camera's going to be quite picking that up, but... Sexy cereal. Pour time. Oh, they do pour sexily. Yes. Loving that. Right, I've uh, stupidly not got myself a spoon. Let's grab that bad boy and dive into my yellow hoops. Oh, they're crunchy. Quite possibly the crunchiest cereal I've ever had. Wow. Suddenly I've got no teeth left. Flavour's fine too. A little sweet and sickly. But not bad. Hmm. Well, they do. They do form a paste when you're chewing them. As things tend to do when they're free from wheat, <laughs> free from gluten. <laughs> Which is interesting because gluten is normally the thing that binds together dough. Whereas the absence of gluten seems to have the opposite effect when you're actually chewing things. Mmm, that's pleasant. But, you know, I'm going to eat them because I am hungry. Mm. If I have any tea for that. Well, I'm currently editing this week on, the one that I'm currently still filming. So yeah, we've got some Inception stuff going on there. Uh, and I'm starting to feel hungry. So my hoops haven't cut the mustard today. Um, it is thankfully approaching lunchtime. So I'm going to grab some lunch, because that's what you do at lunchtime. Mmm, leftovers. I do like some good leftovers, especially when those leftovers were good when they were, uh, you know, first cooked. There's a helicopter flying over. Oh. This is nice. That cheese has kind of melted into the tomato sauce now, so it's kind of like a cheese and tomato pasta. And that fake cheesy flavour goes really well when it's not trying to be cheese, when it's not a cheese replacement. When it's in something, it's good, it's really good. When it's on its own, when it's trying to be the star of the show, it ain't good. On that bacon smoky, got the sweetness of the peppers. My wife can cook. Mm. Oh yeah. That makes me happy. Food makes me happy, what can I say? I've been trying to lose weight recently. So whenever I get some nice old comfort food, it pushes my buttons. Mm. More editing this afternoon. Hello reflection me, how are you? I wish I was playing Mario Kart right now. So it's been a few hours since I had my pasta and it's filled me up really nicely. I brought another packet of those, uh, I can't remember, corn crisp things that I, I can't remember what they were called, but brought another packet of them. don't think I'm going to touch them, to be honest, because I'm still full, and it's uh, it's like, it's four o'clock, so um, yeah, it's, it's almost going to be time to go and get some dinner. So, happy days. Happy Mike. When I've got a full tummy, I'm a happy boy. Happy, happy, happy. Basil, 
Why don't you greet us when we get in anymore? Huh? You used to be there waiting for us, shouting at us, demanding to know where we'd been all day. But now you just... you just lay there. You are so entitled. What's this? Again, this week. What is this? Roasted veg. It's it good takes, for you. It, it is good for me, but it takes like 40 minutes. No, it doesn't. Ugh. See, I was quite happy having some of my Tesco finest pork cocktail sausages, which, if I can find the part where it says that they're gluten-free, there it is. Yeah, that's why I got these, essentially. Tiny sausages, gluten-free. So I was happy having my gluten-free tiny sausages and some mash, which, yeah, you just boil for, like, 20 minutes. But no, we have to prepare this lot and have... Yeah, we have to have veggies. Oh, wow. Well, oh. But at least we have this as well. Free from gluten, wheat and milk beef gravy granules. Yay! I mean, OK. Oh, get on with it, then. Go on. OK. Yes. Veggies in the oven. Spuds peeled and waiting to go. Sausage is still in the packet. But they'll be ready soon enough. Why do you only talk to us when there's food? Or the possibility of food? Or you think there's food when there's never actually food? Hmm? God, why are you so cute? And here it is, along with Grace's chicken that she's having in the oven. Just to finish off. Veggie's looking good. Oh, and spuds are on. There's a cracking update for you. Veggie's looking good. Sausages and chicken not too bad either. Ah, and I've got this as well. Free from gluten and wheat. Eight Yorkshire puddings. Well, Grace is going to join me in these. So we've got four out. We've got the gravy waiting. Grace has been awkward and she's deciding to make separate gravy. And these, these look like uh, like fish food. So actually, I can see her point. Oh, right, almost done. Smashing the old spuds with a bit of Vitalite non-dairy spread. Oh my word, what a feast. There are some sausages hidden in there somewhere. Uh, so the potatoes, roasted veg, Yorkshire puds, and to top it all off, this is thick gravy. I didn't even put all that much sort of granule-wise in the pot either. Wow. This looks good. For a midweek meal, blimey. Blimey. Let's try it. All right, let's try this gravy with some spuds. Yeah, I mean, it's very salty. In fact, it's kind of the, the dominant flavor, to be honest. It's just salt. But it'll do. You know, if that's the only gravy you can have. Gluten-free Yorkshire's. Really nice. I really like the Yorkshire. Wow. That is way better than the pancakes. Which is strange considering pancake batter and Yorkshire pudding batter is the same thing. But it clearly just works a lot better as a Yorkshire pudding. I want to try these tiny, hilariously small sausages. Very, very good. I don't know what the veggie's going to taste like, but I'm going to eat some anyway. Mmm. Mmm. What a midweek dinner. Gluten free. Cheers. That was lovely. What did you reckon, Gracie? Mm, really I mean, nice. we didn't exactly have the same meals. Well, sort of. Sort of. We do have some nice chicken and sausages left, as well as some of the old uh, veggies. Very, very nice. So I'm probably going to incorporate that into tomorrow's yeah, dinner probably, somehow. Yeah, it's not wasted. Although I could just pick at the sausages, to be honest. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. They're gluten free. Mm. They're gluten free. As is this. Oh, you're not indulging, are you? No. Oh, I'm going to indulge. A free from wheat, gluten and milk chocolate pudding. I hope it looks like that because that looks nice. It's going to go in the microwave. Then it's going to go in my belly. 35 seconds in the old microwave. How do we do this? Uh, boom, boom, boom. Hurry up to daddy. 
Oh yes, look at this. This looks good. Oh, oh. Mm. it's hotter than the sun, but the pain's worth it. Mm. Wow. Nicest thing, I've had one bite, nicest thing in the week to date. It's creamy, it's silky, it's smooth, it's soft. The chocolate, you wouldn't know, it's got no milk in it. Mmm. a bit more of that. Mm. Yes! <sighs> well, that was the penultimate day of a week on Free From. And pretty good day. And yeah, there's there's a lot more good than there is bad with this free from stuff. Uh breakfast was what was it? It was those honey loops, which were good, not great, good. Kind of been the theme of my breakfast really, hasn't it? Then lunch was my leftovers from yesterday, which were even better than they were last night. They had matured like a fine wine. Uh, and then my dinner was my sausage and mash and roasted veg. It takes an age to do, especially in the middle of the bloody week. Uh, but it's worth it. It was tasty. I am full, happy boy. Especially after that chocolate pudding, which was just amazing. I would have that, and I'm not even like a gluten intolerant person. It was that good. And it took 35 minutes. No, it didn't. It took 35 seconds in the microwave. Yeah, if I, God, it took 35 seconds and it was thermonuclear. I can't imagine how hot it would be if I did it for 35 minutes. I think it would have literally destroyed my town like Chernobyl disaster. But there we go. It was a good day and I hope tomorrow is as good, if not better, to send my week on free from off with a bang. So uh, I've got a couple of more treats to try so I'm looking forward to that and if you want to see how I get on for the final day please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, you can watch the final day now if you support the show on Patreon. Every little helps as they say. But yeah, it's going well. It's alright. Unless you want bread but... Oh crap I've got bread tomorrow. Oh. See you for day seven.